What's up, Throttle Squad? Welcome back. I'm Greg. And I'm Melissa. And you're watching the Throttle Family. So, in today's video, we're gonna get straight into it. We got some good riding clips for you guys. We're gonna do some cornering, some whoops, some hill climbs, and we're gonna tell you which hit bike is overall better between the Apollo versus the SSR. It's been a long time discussion. A lot of people have had a lot of problems with these bikes specifically. And it's usually something because of maintenance issues. So first off, I want to say about both of these bikes, we've spent a good amount of time on both bikes, but what you need to do when you first originally get it is you need to go through all your bolts around the motor, everything around the chain, pretty much everything on the bike that has a bolt that you can have access to. You want to take off, put a little bit of Loctite, put it back in. Because everyone wants to know which pit bike they should get, which one's better. And we're going to tell you today and it's, going to be one of them. It's not going to be a which one you personally have. One of them is going to win because one of them is hands down better than the other. With that being said, we've owned this bike for two years, almost three, and we've definitely probably put close to, man, probably, probably at least 150 hours on just this bike with no maintenance to the motor. I haven't done anything to it. Mm -hmm. We ride them pretty hard. Um, I'm 6'2", 200 pounds. Alyssa's 5'7", 120 pounds. Okay. So we'll jump right into it. We'll start with the Apollo, the pros on the Apollo. If you guys are one of those hot boy statuses that want that headlight, you want to be able to see where you're riding at night and you want those cool plastics with cool graphics and an all metal gas tank, the Apollo might be right for you. So let's jump right into it. That headlight right there is an awesome feature that the SSR clearly doesn't have. Which I actually personally do like. I do personally I like really it too. I really like the light. The only thing I will say is that it is super, super dim. It is dim, but you, but you can possibly could modify the light bulb out for an LED one and you could probably see a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, it does have bigger tires, which definitely makes it a lot easier for you to roll over those rocks and bumps or maybe a log down that's on the ground. Definitely gives you probably an all about better feel while you're actually riding. So is the size difference. Yeah, oh yeah. That's is the size difference because I know people I know the reason why my brother bought this bike is because he didn't want a little SSR bike like that. He wanted a bigger bike without having a bigger bike, um, essentially. So that's why he bought this one. Yeah, so that's definitely an appealing thing. But in my mind, I feel like it kind of takes the pit bike fun out of it, though. Just because it's a little bit taller, it's closer to a full-size bike. Yeah. Now, we sell all the pros on the SSR. I mean, the Apollo. Now we'll jump into the SSR, guys. All right, so the thing I love about the SSR is basically I, I love the plastics on here. I think it looks like a modern day big bike Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, all of those with those great plastics that just run right down the side of it. Also, another thing that I really like about this is we've had it for a very long time and we definitely have probably close to 150 hours on this bike. Uh, never given us a single problem. Another thing that I want to talk about is the suspension on the SSR and I'm being 6'2". 200 pounds, Alyssa being 5'7", 120. Both of us do enjoy the suspension on this bike more, and I will get into that real quick. Um, there are no adjustability on pretty much either one of the shocks on either bikes from factory, but with this bike specifically that I like that makes things super easy is pretty much putting a spacer in the front forks will stiffen up that front end enough to where even a heavier rider like myself can have fun and not have to worry about it. Back shock, about $200 to replace, and you can dial those things in and be perfect. But performance on this SSR is amazing. It is quite a bit quicker than the Apollo, easier to get up hill climbs, uh, easier to uh, maneuver when you are riding. 
definitely gives you a much more pit bike feel which is definitely something that I really enjoy because that is the whole purpose of buying one of these is to definitely have fun and go pit bike riding with your friends or even if you're just a beginner to have something fun to go ride on with the family. Now, Alyssa, what are your thoughts on both bikes? Uh, I like riding the SSR more. Um, I think, I don't know, I one is because I'm used to it. I'm gonna be honest, mm -hmm. I'm used to it. And two, I do like it because it, I feel like it's quicker. I can, I feel like it's smaller so I can move it around how I want it. You know what I mean? Like, if that makes any sense. I feel like I can move it how I want it, where I want it, kind of make it do what I want, which isn't a lot because I'm pretty new, but but you know, I feel like I can, I, I can do what I want on it. And I feel like I know it pretty well. So I, I, I know what I can handle, what the bike can handle. And yeah, these whoops are big. These are some big whoops. Yeah, these are some big whoops. Oh, this thing feels so good. And it does a little perfect little turn. You guys right there? Oh. All right. And here we go. things take a lot out of you for comparison these things are taller than the wheels so this thing is awesome but it's like right when I hit it perfect sometimes I'll double these but woo! takes a lot you just riding up this whoop section it's a long whoop section too all right let's go get the Apollo and we'll test the Apollo out this thing doesn't doesn't really have the power to get up the hills, but definitely definitely will go. There we go. All right. The follow definitely handles these little sections right here. Definitely hit the trails like you can cut across a little waterway, a little blip of the throttle. You know, a nice little really over the top. Alright guys, so I'm freaking exhausted already. I've probably gone over the whoops. I don't even know how many times, but... A lot. Yeah, once we got the GoPro footage on the ground, I was like, I'm so exhausted that I'm just like, I don't want to keep myself from crashing. So, well, a lot of it is the work that I had to do. Uh, the Apollo, 
I can't do it in third on the Apollo, which I can with the SSR. I can hit it, you know, mid to top of third year. Uh, also, uh, there's also a pretty big hill that yeah. starts at the beginning of the whoop section. So it's like getting momentum to get it all up and working the bike out. I'm a little out of breath. Um, but um, SSR did amazing on the whoops. Uh, I feel way more controlled. I could grab it with like the side of my boots, the, the bike. So that gives me a lot of control. Uh, I was having a little bit of a problem grabbing the frame with the Apollo with, with the side of my boots, you know, cause it's a little hard to grab my knees just cause I'm a taller person. But, uh, so I'm pretty much just having to like rock the bike back and forth and like basically use my upper body to keep the bike consistent versus more on the SSR I can be a little bit more laid back and use my legs a little bit better cause there's a little bit better gripping points for your legs. But um, overall, I hope you guys like the footage. Uh, definitely, I believe SSR definitely wins the whoop competition. So round one, SSR. <laughs> So next test on this is actually going to be a hill climb and with the hill climb you know both bikes are probably going to be even on this situation starting off basically the this this hill climb that we're doing has a lot of big rocks and everything in it and i do have the smaller tires on the ssr i do have bigger ones on the apollo so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the ssr and we're going to hit it up the hill first Every time, boys. All right, let's do this. So I think it's about all the run up I'm gonna need. And I should be able to hit it in second gear and be just fine. very much but this is one big hill climb i don't know if you guys saw our last video but the ssr killed it on this hill climb now it's time to take the apollo and see how the apollo does this is definitely a 
rear brake pretty much only downhill. A little front, that's it. You guys can see there's a complete drop off right there. So I will have to jump it. So. Woo! I almost crashed right there. Yeah. Oh, that rock washed out right when I landed. Little front, that's it. You guys can see there's a complete drop off right there. So I will have to jump it. So. All right. Now. There we go. Next is going to be the Apollo. And here we are. So both bikes obviously have been warmed up because we've been riding for a little bit. And both bikes start at first kick. So both two very well. Both definitely been well maintained. So we'll take the Apollo now. We'll give the Apollo a try. Second time I definitely got up in there, got into the groove, and I was able to get up there. So I think I might actually have to give this one to the SSR. So I mean not the SSR, sorry. I'm gonna have to give this one to the Apollo. So if the Apollo has better gearing, it would probably have a little bit more power to cart me up it. But this is a very steep incline. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but I will definitely have to give this one to the Apollo. So one for the SSR, one for the Apollo. Alright, next test. I'm gonna jump in here real quick and talk about turning and handling on both bikes. So, <laughs> hey, there was a ghost bike there, phantom bike. But anyway, so 
The SSR definitely, definitely handles a lot better. It's definitely something that's a lot easier to throw around, especially because it just definitely has a lot less weight up top than the Apollo does. But I will say, uh, this thing right here, you could throw in a corner, slam around, and that just is a majority of your riding. And more majority of your riding is going around turns. I wish we had some good ruts out here. I'm, I know in my previous past videos, we've gone riding at different places that have had ruts and stuff that you could just like go in and i've actually like pretty much dragged the bars on the ground um you know gone like i've gotten like this close i know for a fact that my shoes have dug in you know and stuff with keeping my foot on the pegs which is pretty insane because you know you gotta go over quite a bit to get on there but doesn't mean that the apollo just doesn't handle well it just feels like it has a lot more weight up top a little bit more bulky the ssr 125 is definitely a lot easier to throw around so that being said that's two ssr one apollo so first of all i'll go first i say the ssr love the ssr this bike is great so i personally like this i would give this pit bike a good 10 out of 10. the price can't beat it reliability can't beat it and i think this thing it's just so much fun you can you know get on it got enough power to get you where you need to go you know take you anywhere that you actually want to go. So the world's the limit. Yeah. So, Alyssa? I do agree. I would go with the SSR. Um, I think it definitely overrules the Apollo. Um, pretty much everything that Greg said, I agree with. Um, and I think, I honestly, I think a really big selling point, not that this was not, not that this was bad priced or anything, but I do feel like for the power you get the stability you get, the control that you get for that price, I feel like is absolutely wonderful. I, that's just obviously my opinion, but I think that I would 100% hands down go with the SSR. Yep. I think for the price, it's like you cannot even beat it. You cannot beat it, guys. This bike, amazing. So, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and We'll see you on the next one. Also comment down below if you guys want to see anything else that you want us to see us do. Test it against other bikes, something, anything. Anything. <laughs> so you guys can create challenges for each bike or whatever you guys want. Uh, preferably SSR, because I think this thing is probably gonna be going away for a little while. So if you guys want to see us do anything cool, remember we also do car content, we do boat content, and anything with a throttle. Anything with a throttle. We're your anything, family. Anything with a throttle, we got it or something. Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah. Help us come up with a little slogan. Hey, also <laughs> drop down in the, the bottom if you guys want a little comment or something that might go into a future intro to make the channel better. Also, I cannot wait to see you guys next time. So, Bye. dream big. Stay, <laughs> Stay happy. happy. <laughs> All right, peace.